Welcome, welcome to another pop up talk here with Shewa and Fanny. Look at you. Look at me. I am like a host already. <laughs> hostess of the hostess with the mostest. Hey, bye. How you doing? Hey, y'all. So this show almost didn't happen. <laughs> this yeah, week. we're supposed to be supposed to be shooting on Thursday. I'm not gonna be in town, so we rescheduled to obviously you know not miss it and stay consistent and continue to do what we said we're gonna do, but. Nobody's really feeling like it, but you know, we said we're gonna do it, so an hour later, we decided to turn the computer on, and here we are. Here we are, yes. It has to be a quick one, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have shit to do. Do your thing, girl. Okay, so Here's we're just the gonna topic go straight box. to it. I didn't really wanna go through this, and I just wanted to put a topic out there, but my let's wine not break the rules. Oh my gosh, what is this? Respect. I do. <laughs> Why? Doesn't require obedience. That's all you. Mm -mm. Right there and then. Respect doesn't require obedience. Yes, we are not supposed to <sighs> do what others want, right? As a form of showing respect to them, or we should not not go by the decision that we choose to make because we might offend a person and be disrespectful towards them because we're going against what they think, believe. Am I getting back into the other show? I have no idea what's happening lady? right now. I mean, the other show. So, respect, show, means. <laughs> I put it back, which I'm not supposed to do that, remember? Mm -hmm. oh. Respect shows. I think it's probably the one that I pulled earlier. Really, yeah. Uh huh. Respect doesn't require obedience. Yeah. I can respect my mom, doesn't mean I'm going to do exactly what she tells me to do. So what does respect mean? Again, you asked me this question last time. You can break the ice. Respect means respecting a person, right? Uh, for what they believe, they stand for, for however they want to carry themselves. Um, and yeah, show them that respect without putting conditions or any, any sorts of things to be able to feel respected by the other person. <laughs> Respect. Has there ever been a time where you felt disrespected by me? Um, I don't think disrespected. Maybe I associated disrespect with stepping over boundaries or maybe um, not over boundaries because it's not like, I'm like, hey, check it out, this is my boundaries. I never gave you a fucking <laughs> bullshit um, script on how to train me either. So I don't think you have disrespected me, but maybe because of different beliefs, I thought maybe, I, well, I think anybody that's telling me something or trying to make me look at something or bring something to my attention or maybe corrects me something, I'm like, oh, you're disrespecting me. That might be like a, what do you mean by that like because you're not respecting what i'm saying or maybe because i'm not like um or because um i believe a certain way and because you believe something else and you're telling me i'm feeling disrespected but i don't think it's a, it's a disrespect again it's not obedience <laughs> like why am i fucking feeling disrespected if you're giving me an opinion or telling me how you feel about a situation <laughs> yeah no <laughs> Does that make sense from what I just said at the beginning? Oh though? my god. We, yeah. I am so full right now. I feel disrespected of how full I am, actually. But please, okay. go ahead. Let me get my shit together because I'm like a bottle of wine in. We have to pop open another one. I don't know why she acting like she ain't drinking with me. I am not. <laughs> Her glass is right over here. Okay, now. <laughs> um. Okay, so you guys are getting us in rare form today to go back to that. We didn't want to do this. Um, there's a lot going on in our lives, but we want to maintain our word and be committed to what we said we were going to do for ourselves, yeah. which is be here every week. So since this is going out of town, I pulled through my bullshit that I'm got going on today, and we're here. A bottle later. We've opened up the second bottle. So, respect. I think... One of the reasons that I opted to put this topic in the 
bold. Don't send me no video. It's because a lot of times people feel like res when someone gives you respect, it means you have to adopt their beliefs. And if you don't adopt their beliefs, then you are disrespecting them. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of what you were trying to say yeah, or, just a yeah. second ago? So when we adopt other people's beliefs, obviously we lose ourselves. We lose our belief system. We lose our train of thought. We lose who we are at our core. And we do it out of the name of respecting whether it's our elders or our spouses or our friends or our siblings. And that's bullshit is ultimately what I'm trying to say. And or I'm trying a to teacher. A teacher, exactly. Like, <laughs> don't listen to that just because it's a thing. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> is there an edit button? <laughs> so like, no, but what were you going to say? No, no, no. I was just, you know, making that stupid joke about <sighs> Respect doesn't require for you to be obedient. What do you guys feel about this topic? I would love to hear your feedback as well if you guys don't mind we're not messaging live. me. Oh. I know we're not live for a reason. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> um, but obviously, you know, if you can message us um, or yeah, share your, your opinions on what you think about this topic. Do you need to be obedient? Because as a parent, we say to our children, don't do this. And then if they turn around and do it, we say, you disrespected me. Do you, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's, um, you did not listen to what I said, so you disrespected me. What are your thoughts? What a hot topic. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily think that means disrespect. That makes sense. They just, you know, chose to do something else or didn't want to stand in the corner where you told them because they were talking to their friends. Yes, in a world of, you know, this world. Um, it will be disrespect because you didn't listen to your parents. Because they, they equate, they equate, a lot of people equate respect to obedience. Yeah. And I kind of think they're two separate things. Yeah, definitely. Because you can still respect me as a parent. Let's look up the definition. Yeah, go for it. You can still I'm respect um, me as a parent, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to do everything that I say. Obviously, when your child is younger, you're like, oh my gosh, you should do, you know, it's more disrespectful. But um, no, I don't think when my child does not listen to me, he's disrespecting me, even though I was taught to believe that. So the definition of respect, according to the dictionary of Oxford languages on Google, is number one, a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something elicited by their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Quote, the director had a lot of respect for Douglas as an actor, end quote. Number two, Due regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. Quote, young people's lack of respect for their parents, end quote. Um, as a verb, admire someone or something deeply as a result of their abilities, qualities, or achievement. Quote, she was respected by everyone she worked with, end quote. So, I like the first definition a lot. That's more of a, a deep admiration. Of respect is for me more than anything. So it's almost like, it sounds like a lot of people incorrectly place this word in sentences. Yeah. Mm hmm Because if we're just talking about a deep admiration for somebody, that changes the game where respect is concerned. And we don't get to say, you disrespected me by not listening to me. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. And I was just going to put, I think more of a disrespect for from my kids or what I feel maybe when they are talking to you a certain way versus not listening to you or doing things exactly how you directed them to you or disrespecting you maybe um, using terminology that's vulgar yeah or something like that because you feel like that's not deep admiration so what if they don't feel it for us like, what if they authentically are like, they, for whatever they don't reason, feel, yeah, they, don't they authentically because, don't, right, yeah. like, do we get to punish them for that? I, I don't think so. I think, if anything, we get to work on that and feel where they're coming from and dig deep in those thoughts, emotions, and see what you did or, and that's and how kind of explore it. We typically, as parents, well, I, I mean, yeah. most parents typically don't look at themselves. No, the first thing is you're disrespecting me, and I'm your parent, mm -hmm. and you should respect me, and you need to listen to me, and obviously you're not 
old enough where you need to pay for your own bills and da 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 then that's when you get to all of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. But I learned very quickly on that that is absolutely not the case. Yeah. My eldest, again, amazing Keandre, taught me that. Like, I made a lot of horrible errors. Um, just like, I don't know, like, Keandre taught me that even as a parent, I get to look at myself and I get to own my mistakes. And that just because I'm a parent doesn't mean that I don't make mistakes. And yeah. I get to acknowledge them and apologize for them when done. Yeah, especially when you have your kids at a young age. Or... I feel like that's how you gain admiration, by showing people, like, yo, I'm a human being, yeah. no matter what age and what I got going on and what my title is or whatever. Yeah. I'm not above apologizing and acknowledging that I offended you. Yeah, I think that's one thing I am very good and have become really good at. Acknowledging when I have messed up or have done something inappropriate or communicated inappropriately with the kids or reacted or whatever the hell to apologize to them and explain to them, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a human. I'm also trying to, to work on myself or grow or figure this out or I probably have trauma, you know, and raising another person is not easy. It's not. Yeah, no, I thought it was. Especially when you're trying to figure out the person that you are. Yeah. When you haven't figured that out, then you've got uh, another little human mm -hmm. here to do. So you're dealing with yourself, which is usually what happens, right? Um, it's tough. But yeah, getting back to the subject of respect, what is it? Just whether or not it requires to be obedient. Is there a difference in respect and obedience? And we establish that there is, especially yeah. by the definition of Oxford languages, yeah. according to Google. I definitely think I respect my parents, but I'm not obedient. Because I'm not, that does not mean I have no respect for them. It does not mean that you don't admire them. It just may mean that you want to try something for yourself, oh, make a choice, right, yeah. and explore a different way than what they originally suggested. Unfortunately, we do feel disrespected when people choose to do things like that. But that's based on what we've been told the definition of respect is. I was telling, again, Keandre, I don't know when it was, I think it was when he was here last, at the end of June. And I was telling him, and I think my sister, Famodupe, that I had gone through this journey of reevaluating, reevaluating the words that I commonly use. Yeah. And I was looking them up to be like, do I actually know what, what the mean? definition is? Or am I just using it the same way that I've heard other people use it? And more often than not, I found that I was just using the words the way I heard other people, and they were being used incorrectly. Y'all, I'm sorry, I'm buzzing. So if I'm slurring, bear with me. Watermelon. Wait, Beyonce, the song. I am drink. I've been drinking watermelon. Is it? I forgot how the beat goes, but I love that song. Serve, serve, serve. Uh huh. But um, <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> what are the lyrics? Beyonce, Jay Z, come to me. I've been drinking watermelon. Da, 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 da. Why? Because why are we here right now? Because <laughs> I think she says something about slurring her words in the song. Oh. Yeah. Um, but what was I saying about the uh, Where's my vape? I forgot. Y'all catch me vaping and drinking today. It is what it is. It was about the respect of the obedience. Oh. Gosh, I should have never sung that one minute song. So let's take it outside of our kids, like our spouses. What does it look like when we feel disrespected by our spouse? Disrespected by our spouse is probably when they do something, they know that pisses you off and they still do it. <laughs> look at the definition again. I don't think that applies. Again, it's about <laughs> admiration. Do regards for fulfilling wishes, rights, or tradition of others. So maybe that's what you're talking about. Say that the again. traditions. Do regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. So if yeah. you're saying it's in your tradition, in your marriage, to to do something or not do something, or maybe you know that it bothers the person, is to do it with a cold heart. That could be disrespectful. Okay. 
I going, going against the behind people's back is also disrespectful, guys. Well, we're going to save that topic for another yeah, day. Yeah, but I'm saying that's another disrespectful thing in a marriage if both of you are not in alignment with that topic. That's disrespectful. Um, <sighs> but what was the question that you said? How do we feel out. disrespected in our marriage? Yeah, by our spouses. Yeah, that was my answer. I think like um, not being recognized for who you are, like not being seen. I felt disrespected when that happened. which I guess would fall under admiration for who I am. Yeah. Like, if you don't see me. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Or give you credit. Or it's not giving credit. No. It's, no, it's... Like, just being seen. Yeah. Right. Acknowledged. Nice. Just acknowledged, yeah. I think it's, it's kind of like um, the saying uh, at the end of yoga or the beginning, namaste. Like, my soul acknowledges your soul. Like, who doesn't want to be acknowledged or seen? Yeah. And I think it's a huge disrespect to act like, oh, I don't see you. Like, or acknowledge the things that you do or what you bring to the table or stuff like that. Yeah. I could be changing the definition of respect as we speak. Does that fall? Yeah. Does that fall into admiration? Let me see. Yeah, it kind of does. I think I know what you're saying. Okay. The point is, excuse me. I need water now. <sighs> What's your point? We get to use these words accurately. Oh, and I remember what I was gonna say when I sang the what I'm gonna think. Okay. Did you mind? Of course not. Um, I did this exercise where I was trying to, I don't wanna call it define myself, but kind of like choose words that apply to me of who I am or what I am, and I had no idea what the definition of any of the words were, so I had to literally Google them because I thought it was something else versus what they okay. are. So I experienced that with the whole word that you were talking earlier about how you learn how to use them properly and actually learn the definition of the words to be able to use them in, in the sentence in a proper way. With this word right. respect, you know? Right. Yeah, I, so I, I mean, I guess what I wanted to point out is we get to let people have their own thoughts and their own belief systems without forcing them to subscribe to ours and then or saying being disrespected about it because they have that and saying you telling them that they disrespected us because they have their own thoughts and beliefs and ways about themselves that may differ from ours like that's fucking crazy i mean that's happening in the world right now that's why i wanted to talk about it what's happening with everything in this chaotic world that we're living on with the vaccine, the mask, the this, the that. I believe this, I don't believe that. Yeah, we all get to do that. And we all get to not feel disrespected because the other person is doing that, for sure. I don't even want to touch that shit. Yeah, but yeah, that's basically what's I'm happening good. also. I'm good on the vaccine topic. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm gonna respect you on that. I'm good on the vaccine also topic. Yeah, me and you believe the same. Yeah, we don't have, there's nothing for us to talk about that. No. Um, but that does not mean that we believe the same, you know, in everything in life. We actually are, have different beliefs in different things. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral of the story of this short video is allow people to be who they are without yourself feeling slighted because their belief system is different than yours does yeah. that mean they're disrespecting you stop telling people they're disrespecting you because they have a different viewpoint or vantage point of the same experience even like yeah don't be weird <laughs> that's the point of this video anything else i think that's good enough respect I'm trying to think of an example I know, like, have I ever disrespected you? That's what I can think of. I was thinking about it when I asked you the question about me. I can't think of a time I felt disrespected by you. Um, but I know, like, in our tradition, I've witnessed people <laughs> be like, if you don't believe what, or, or, or let's say Arisha comes down and talk. 
right? The Arisha comes down and speaks, and you decide not to listen to the guidance of the Arisha. Mm -hmm. It's like that person who possessed the Arisha will be like, oh, you disrespected me. Sorry. You disrespected my Arisha. Blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, but I have the choice to yeah. follow the recommendation or not. Yeah, no, doesn't yeah. mean I don't admire you. It just means I might want to try a different way. That's another big topic when it comes to religion, respect. Or yeah, you can't use you can't use easily. it as a source of control. Like that's messed up. You can't because that is that is the power of choice. No matter if someone gets a recommendation or what, the 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 holy grail comes down, a rumila comes down, like whatever comes down and gives you the message, you still have the ability of choice to say which way you want to go, whether it's the hard way or the easy way. And that does not mean and that, that, that does God. not mean disrespect. <laughs> it just means you made your choice to go hard or easy. And no one has to feel slighted by that. Yeah. I am definitely a, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, I'm a something. I am. <laughs> what is the word? Too bad we can't because we just don't feel like learning that whole thing of everything. So this I am guilty. Can't. That is the word. <laughs> I, I am guilty of getting advice from Ifa and being like, yeah, Baba, I'm going to go this way. And Ifa be like, all right. So holler at me when it's a bow time or a new time and you made that shit hard on yourself. And that's all you can do. But it's not like I experienced Ifa being like, you disrespected me. She's like, all right, girl. All right, daughter. Do you. Yeah. That's how I need people to act. Do you. That's the type of parent I want to be. <laughs> The right? type of daughter I want to be, the it's type hard. of wife I want to be. That's what I was saying in the last video that we made, that Ifa is like the true epitome of what a guide looks like without being offended. I don't want to feel disrespected because I, you guys didn't, I didn't get the sister that I wanted. The heck? That's not on me to decide, you know? Clearly they're still <laughs> offending. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I get it though. <laughs> I am not feeling disrespected at all. At all. But I can see how my old self would have for stupid, you know, things. Like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this. <laughs> how dare you disrespect me? <laughs> oh my the God. heck? But yeah, we're good. I'm gonna go work. Um, you're good. Honey, I think I'm good. good. Yeah. Just remember, is that you ringing? Yeah, it's got kind of like Just remember, people get to have their own. We don't get to go around, yeah, around the world feeling disrespected and sad and all this offended bullcrap. And you can't because... force people to admire you. You can't force people to see you, but I will say this if they ain't willing to look at you, yeah. Pass them to the left. Exit, stay Everything left. to the left. To the left, to the left, right? There's another Beyonce song. We're on Beyonce today. Yo, do we get free concert tickets for calling your name twice in this video? <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, we're going to go now and keep drinking. Bye.